Good morning. We're going to talk about simplifying rational expressions, and I want to go over a couple of important things to look for when you are simplifying. So the first thing is you're always going to look for a greatest common factor. So that's if there is any term that could be factored out from, from every part. The second thing you're going to do is try to reduce factors. And re when you reduce factors, you can only reduce factors, you cannot reduce terms. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is <clears throat> factors can be numbers if they're multiplied into um, the numerator or if they're multiplied into the denominator, but not if they're added and subtracted. So 2 times x, those two numbers are being multiplied. 2 plus x, you can't just cross off a 2 or just cross off an x. I'll show you a couple of examples. Factors can be x's um, if they're factored out. So you could have x squared over x, and that would get factored out because it's just some variables over variables and they're not being attached through addition and subtraction. Factors can also be a group um, if the entire group matches in the numerator and in the denominator. So if you have like a x plus 1 as your numerator, that's a group. And if the denominator also said x plus 1, that's when you would be able to factor it out. You cannot separate terms if they are added or subtracted to factor. So for example, what I mean is if I had 2x, 2x is a term, and it could be a factor, but only if it was like this, where you had um, 2x outside of a, a group x plus 1. So you've got 2x, and then you've got this parenthesis, which shows you 2x is being multiplied by this group. So if 2x is outside, it was already factored out, like if 2x, um, it might have been, your original would have been 2x squared plus 2x. So if I had 2x squared plus 2x, I should see that the greatest common factor is 2x, and I take the 2x out as a factor, and I write x plus 1. So the 2x now could also, if it was in the numerator, could factor um, because it's attached to this group. But if 2x was attached with addition or subtraction, then you can't factor it out. So for example, if you had 2x plus 1, the 2x is attached to the 1 with addition. You can't just cross the 2x's out. That's not allowed. Do not do that. One of the third things that you're going to look for when you're trying to simplify is when you reduce, you're going to write the quotient after you divide by the factor. So what I mean is if I had, now it's hard to see in the video here, but it, this was a 5. If I had 5 divided by 5, I could say, oh, I'm going to cross those out. But what is 5 divided by 5? It's 1. So for example, if I had 5 parentheses x plus 1 in my numerator, because maybe I took out 5 from, it would have said 5x plus 5, and I would have said, oh, look, 5 is a common greatest common factor, if I wrote it as 5 parentheses x plus 1, and it happened to be over 5, these 5's can factor out, because in the numerator, 5 is attached through multiplication to the group, and 5 in the denominators alone, so I can, I can factor those, so 5 divided by 5 is still 1. You can think of that as 1 times the quantity of x plus 1, or you can just write x plus 1, because we don't usually write a coefficient of 1. So here's another example. If I had something like 4 times x squared plus 1, and it was over 2x squared to begin with, 4 and four is attached to this group, and 2 is multiplied to x squared. So as long as you're being multiplied, so 4 times the group and 2 times x squared, you're allowed to factor. So 4 and 2 reduce to just 2 over 1. So I could say, oh, a 2 comes out of both of those. It's a 2 and a 1. So I would write in the numerator to keep the 2, and then I have parentheses x squared plus 1 all over. Now the 2 turned into a 1, which we don't usually write, so I just write x squared. When you have a situation like this, you have to be careful. The x squared cannot reduce with x squared, because in the numerator, x squared is attached to this 1 in the group with addition. So do not reduce, because it's not they're not factors. Um, another thing you're going to look for when you're simplifying are a difference of squares. So what that means is if you have something that's a perfect square minus something that's a perfect square. You can't do it when there's addition in the middle, only when there's subtraction. So that's why it says difference. Difference means subtraction. 
So if I have x squared minus 16, I can factor that. I take the square root of x squared and put it in each group. Square root of 16, put it in each group, and then I do a minus and a plus. Because if I foiled this back out, I would get x squared minus 4x plus 4x, so they disappear, minus 16, which is what we started with. So you always want to be looking for the difference of squares. And then I guess I also should have said you want to look to factor quadratics as well. Because if you can get um, a quadratic factored, then you can cross out those factors. So look for factors um, from a quadratic. So I want to go through an example with you. So for example, let's say that we have uh, 2x squared minus 4x over x squared times 8. I don't know, written kind of weirdly, but um, so I cannot immediately cross off the x squareds and I cannot immediately factor out like the 4 and the 8. So in the numerator, I'm going to take it one part at a time. I'm going to take a greatest common factor of 2x and I get x minus, because 2x squared, take out a 2x, I'm left with x. 4x, take out a 2x, I'm left with 2 all over. And now this is just 8x squared, which is kind of a silly thing that I wrote it that way. But now I've got an x times the group, and I've got an x times an 8. So I can say 1x in the numerator, 2x is in the denominator. These are going to factor out, so this is going to go away. I'm just going to have an x down the denominator. And then 2 and 8 have factors, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So this can reduce to, in the numerator, x minus 2 over 4x. I hope this helps. You're going to try part A.